of sleep. It is a gentle thing. Beloved from pole to pole. To Mary Queen the praise be given. She sent the gentle sleep from heaven that slid into my soul. The silly buckets on the deck that had so long remained. I dreamt that they were filled with dew. And when I awoke, it rained. My lips were wet, my throat was cold, my garments all were dank. Sure I had drunken in my sleep, and still my body drank. I moved and could not feel my limbs, I was so light almost. I thought that I had died in sleep, and was a blessed ghost. But soon I heard a roaring wind, it did not come anear, but with its sound, it shook the sails that were so thin and sere. The upper air burst into life, and a hundred fire flags sheen. To and fro they were hurried about, and to and fro, and in and out, the wan stars danced between. The coming wind did roar more loud, and the sails did sigh like sedge, and the rain poured down from one black cloud. The moon was at its edge. The thick black cloud was cleft, and still the moon was at its side. Like water shot from some high crag, the lightning fell with never a jag, a river steep and wide. The loud wind never reached the ship, yet now the ship moved on beneath the lightning and the moon. The dead men gave a groan. They groaned, they stirred, they all uprose, nor spake nor moved their eyes. It had been strange even in a dream to have seen those dead men rise. The helmsman stared, the ship moved on, yet never a breeze up blew. The mariners all gan work the ropes what they were wont to do. They raised their limbs like lifeless tools. We were a ghastly crew. The body of my brother's son stood by me knee to knee. The body and I pulled at one rope, but he said naught to me. I fear the ancient mariner. Be calm, thou wedding guest. Was not those souls that fled in pain that to the courses came again, but a troop of spirits blessed. For when it dawned, they dropped their arms and clustered round the mast. Sweet sounds rose slowly through their mouths and from their bodies passed. Around, around flew each sweet sound, then darted to the sun. Slowly the sounds came back again, now mixed, now one by one. Sometimes a dropping from the sky, I heard the skylark sing. Sometimes all little birds that are, how they seem to fill the sea and air with their sweet jargoning. And now twas like all instruments, and now a lonely flute. And now it is an angel's song that makes the heavens be mute. It ceased, and still the sails made on a pleasant noise till noon. A noise like of a hidden brook and the leafy month of June That to the sleeping woods all night singeth a quiet tune Till noon we quietly sailed on, yet never a breeze did breathe Slowly and smoothly went the ship, moved onward from beneath Under the keel nine fathom deep from the land of mist and snow The spirit slid and it was he that made the breeze to blow the sails at noon left off their tune, the ship stood still also. The sun right up above the mast had fixed her to the ocean, but in a minute she gan stir with a short, uneasy motion, backwards and forwards, half her length with a short, uneasy motion. Then like a pawing horse let go, she made a sudden bound. It flung the blood into my head, and I fell down in a swound. How long in that same fit I lay, I have not to declare. But ere my living life returned, I heard, and in my soul discerned, two voices in the air. Is it he, quoth one? Is this the man by him who died on cross? With his cruel bow he laid full low the harmless albatross. The spirit that bideth by himself in the land of mist and snow. He loved the bird that loved the man who shot him with his bow. The other was a softer voice, as soft as honey dew. Quoth he, 
The man hath penance done, and penance more will do.